Welcome back to my vlog. Thanks so much for being here. So today I'm gonna be filming a what I eat in a day, basically a full day of eating with me. And if you've been following along, you know I've been eating something similar to a raw primal diet. I'm not following the exact raw primal diet, but I'm following something quite similar to it. My main focus is raw animal foods, and I've been incorporating raw animal foods into my life for over a year now. So I thought today would be just to chill what I eat in a day, full day of eating. I've been kind of changing it up, updating as I go, and so this is my updated full day of eating. Some things I do keep the same though. For example, every morning I have four raw eggs. So these eggs I actually got from the farmer's market. These are green eggs and these are brown eggs. I'm going to crack all of them into this jar. So it's a very beautiful day. I'm going to start with my four raw eggs. Cheers! Drinking my raw eggs is one of my favorite ways to start the day. Also, I've noticed that the eggs I get from the farmer's market have significantly darker and richer egg yolks compared to the eggs from the grocery store, even the pasture-raised organic ones. So with the leftover eggshells, what I like to do usually is I mix them into my soil in my yard. And so my compost pile consists of raw eggshells, also my fruit peels and stuff like that. So today I'm gonna have a pretty active day. I'll be pack walking with the dogs, and then I'll be going to the studio to teach and practice. That being said, it's a perfect day to have some raw veal liver. Okay. Having eaten raw beef liver and raw veal liver, I highly enjoy both. I feel like they're both incredibly important to have, although I have to say I think I prefer raw veal liver. I find raw veal liver to be more delicate, tender, and sweet compared to beef liver. I feel like when I eat veal liver, I enjoy eating large pieces of it at once, whereas with beef liver, a tiny amount seems to satiate me. I also really enjoy going all in with my hands, as you can see. I feel like this is a more interactive and engaging experience and allows me to appreciate what I'm eating more. It does get a bit messy though, hence having to tie my hair up and liver juice getting all over my face, but wow, having liver is a wonderful way to instantly feel the nutrients in my body as I start my day. All right, so that is meal number one. Now I'm going to get ready. Gotta get ready to go pack walk. Also, I'll be drinking some raw milk throughout the day and just have a little bit here and there. I think it's really interesting too, on the back it says, government warnings. Raw unpasteurized milk and raw milk dairy products may contain disease-causing microorganisms. Persons at highest risk of disease from these organisms include newborns, infants, elderly, pregnant women, those taking corticosteroids, antibiotics or antacids, and those having chronic illnesses or other conditions that weaken their immunity. So there's a huge government warning on the back of this raw milk. I try to have it every day if I can. Very tasty, very refreshing, and this is my preferred source of hydration throughout the day. So I'm going to get on with my morning, and then I'll see you for my next meal. So I feel very grateful to work alongside a family-owned small business throughout the week. We offer training sessions, pack walks, daycare, and overnight boarding for the dogs within our community. It's a wonderful time, keeps us all active and playful, and I feel like we learn a lot from being around animals. Their ability to live in the present moment and find joy in the simplest of things reminds me to slow down and appreciate the beauty of life. We also just welcomed a new dog into our pack. Her name's Maven. It was very fun to witness all of our current dogs sniffing her out and some of our bigger alpha dogs have a protective energy over her during our walks, ensuring she stays on the inside and stays safe. All right, so I just finished my walk. It was a very lovely walk. We actually got a new dog in our pack. It was a good time. So now I'm moving into my lunch and I'm just going to be having a grass-fed ribeye. And I went to the farmer's market yesterday and I got some local raw unheated honey. 
So a grass-fed ribeye and some local raw honey. Super grateful for this meal. Cheers. When I first started eating raw meat, I remember I used to go for ground beef pretty frequently, simply for financial budgeting reasons, but I've come to the realization that it's worth it to spend a little more to get the actual cut of meat. I enjoy the fact that it requires me to put in more effort towards chewing it, forcing me to really use my teeth and jaw muscles, and there's a special joy of enjoying the natural texture and flavor as it is, and how the meat is in its whole form without the meat going through a process into the grinder or potentially being mixed with other stuff. So you've probably noticed that I've been inserting entire clips of me eating. Sometimes I don't in my other videos just for time's sake because these clips are really, really long, like sometimes over 30 minutes long. But I thought I would put the entire clips sped up for this video as we're celebrating a full day of eating. Also, something happened recently that I want to share with you. So recently I received a very detailed, elaborate message from somebody who is very convinced that I work for the CIA, that I'm a secret spy agent being paid to promote an intricate agenda fueled by the elites. I thought it was really creative and I appreciate the time they took to come up with this theory to write it out and send it to me. It definitely fueled my imagination, like I wonder what life would have been like if that were true, but I'd like to just clear the air and debunk that right now just in case this theory goes off the rails. I don't work for the CIA, nobody's paying me for this, this entire channel is all on my own accord, which is a big reason why I really enjoy making these videos because I feel like this YouTube channel is a place where I could just be myself, I don't feel the need to act in a super attention-grabbing, polarizing way. I feel like I have the ultimate freedom to share who I really am and share my lifestyle and what brings me joy. So I hope you can just take my word for it. I'm not a CIA secret spy agent. I mean, that would have been pretty cool, but unfortunately, I'm just a regular citizen. Okay, just finished the ribeye and now I'm going to move into the local raw honey. I got this from the farmer's market and the lady was really nice when she was selling it. She seemed really passionate about taking care of her bees and really passionate about harvesting this honey. So that's something I really enjoy about buying things from the farmer's market is, is getting to see who I'm sourcing my food from. Putting a face to who put in the effort to harvest the food or raise the animals. And yeah, she was really nice and very interesting to talk to. So really excited to dig in. This honey was very nice, silky, not too sweet compared to many of the raw honeys I've tried. I also love that it was super local. The beehive she harvested this from is within my city, so super local raw honey. Also, I finished my jar of raw milk this morning, but I found a little bit in my fridge of this gallon, so I'll probably be finishing this, and then I'll see you at my next meal. Today in my practice, I felt very strong, so I decided to experiment with more strength-focused poses. Now, I don't do any weightlifting, I mainly just use the weight of my own body to build strength. Since I've been gaining weight lately, I do feel the differences in how much heavier my body feels in my practice. I do feel stronger, probably because there's more weight to be carried around and worked with. Like in balanced, focused postures, I feel like a big sturdy mountain made of rock. However, something I've been reflecting on in my practice is that this weight gain has made certain flexibility, mobility focused poses feel like there's more resistance and friction to perform them. My muscles feel denser, yes, but also tighter. For example, back bends used to feel like a nice, light, good morning stretch, but now the sensation is a bit more obvious and takes up more of my threshold these days. So I'm happy that strength and balance have been improving, but honestly, I do feel resistance in my mobility and flexibility. I don't know if this is a good or bad thing yet, just something I've been noticing. Hey guys, so I just got home, I took a shower, and now I'm going to get ready to eat some dinner, but I thought I'd show you what I've been working on lately. 
Here's my at-home makeshift recording setup. It's not the best, but not bad. I found my dad's pile of stuff. A, it's like an audio interface where you can connect mics to it. And then I just use GarageBand on my iPad. So I've been working on recording my own music so that I could maybe release my own piano compositions soon. I think it'd be really cool. It's been one of my dreams for a while, and I think going to the recording studio is a bit expensive, so I'm trying to learn how to do everything myself. I recently uploaded my entire song, White Wolf Serenade, and if you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description, and I'd really appreciate if you gave it a listen. That is my first piano composition. I'm excited for more. So for dinner, I'll be having some sashimi. I got some yellowtail. So typically I like to just eat raw meat with my bare hands and not worry about the whole preparation ritual of slicing it up, arranging it, and then washing dishes and whatnot. But sometimes I do enjoy the ritualistic preparation of eating it sliced up in a bowl or a plate and use utensils. I grew up eating with chopsticks and I enjoy it sometimes because it forces me to slow down, be present, and use my brain a bit more. Rather than using a fork, for example, where we're just like stabbing our food, no skills needed, you know, I like that using chopsticks allows us to be more precise, gentle, and mindful with our food. At the end of the day though, I will always prefer just using my hands. I grew all of these oranges in my yard and I'm actually growing more than I can eat right now. So I usually just have like one a day, one or two a day. I really like challenging myself to peel my oranges or any other citrus fruit in one peel. I feel like it's gonna be a good day filled with good luck when I'm successful. Maybe that's just me being superstitious, but I really feel in my soul that there's something to it. So as you can see, it's our lucky day. The oranges I grow in my yard are super sweet, very juicy, and I feel like when I eat my own fruits, one or two is enough. When I eat fruits from the grocery store, I feel the need to eat way more. Like, I can easily smash a bag of cuties, tangerines in a day. So I do feel very fortunate to have access to my own fruits on my own soil. So that was pretty much my last full meal, but I'll be snacking on a little bit of the local raw honey that I have, and then I'll be drinking some more raw milk. That pretty much concludes my full day of eating. So with the raw honey and my raw milk, that will be the last thing I'm having. So I feel pretty satiated right now, and the sun's going down. I'm pretty much just gonna wind down to go to sleep. Mm -hmm.